everyone. In this video, we're going to be talking about the renal system. And you probably know that the renal system is alternatively called the urinary system, so just something to keep in mind. And I thought what we would start off by doing is just uh, review the basic structures and functions of the renal system. So there are four primary structures that make up the renal system. They are the kidneys, ureters, urinary bladder, and urethra. So the kidneys are basically organs that produce urine. Um, and urine is basically just a mix of water and ions and compounds, waste products, things that we're going to outline um, in, uh, in the next couple of videos. And uh, the ureters are basically a pair of tubes that transfer the urine from the kidneys to the bladder. So um, this uh, constitutes a portion of the urinary tract, um, technically. And, um, and, and so one ureter per kidney uh, that, that eventually will meet at the urinary bladder. The urinary bladder, or if we don't say urinary and just call it bladder, it would be the same thing, uh, is basically a muscular sac that is um, for temporary storage of urine. And uh, lastly, the urethra is basically a tube that conducts urine to the exterior of the body. Um, so in order, the urine flows from the kidneys where it's produced, through the ureters, to the urinary bladder, and then out the urethra. By far, the majority of the lectures will be uh, about the kidneys and about the functional units of the kidneys and how filtering of the blood happens. Um, and uh, only a very small portion will be about the rest of the organs, the ureters, the urinary bladder, and the urethra. Now the functions. I'm just going to overview the functions by categorizing them as three basic ideas. And um, so we start with excretion. And excretion basically re means removing organic waste from body fluids. So excretion is kind of um, is kind of alternatively like filtering, uh, picking and choosing the stuff that we don't want anymore, that we need to get rid of because it would be toxic to the body. This is followed by elimination, which is discharge of waste, product, waste products into the environment. And then lastly, and, and certainly, um, you know, this one uh, is, is overwhelmingly important and should not be minimized, homeostatic regulation. So homeostatic regulation um, by the kidneys includes regulation of blood pressure and blood volume, blood pH, um, plasma concentrations of potassium, sodium, calcium, other ions, conservation of valuable nutrients, um, so things like glucose and amino acids, things that we don't want to get rid of, and then um, assisting the liver with detoxification. So. Um, so there really are a bunch of, uh, of components of homeostatic regulation that occur by the kidneys um, and they're all, they're all really, really critical. Alright, so I thought what we would do next is draw sort of a, um, an overview of where the kidneys are in the body and, um, and try to place them relative some, to some of the other things that we know. So first off, we know that the kidneys are retroperitoneal. Uh, they sit uh, behind the, the peritoneal cavity. Um, so they're not technically part of the abdomen, um, and, and mostly we think of uh, when we think of um, back pain that's not musculoskeletal, kidney problems, especially things like kidney stones, have to be part of the differential. So, um, so this is going to be a posterior view of the drawing, and the kidneys are in purple. Um, and so imagine that the patient is facing away from us, and so the right kidney um, is would be our right side, and then the left kidney would be the left side. And so the kidneys um, connect to the ureters, which connect to the urinary bladder, uh, which also connects to the urethra. So we have our basic, um, basic structures there. So there's a lot of blood flow to the kidneys, which we're gonna discuss in a moment. And the renal artery is basically what supplies the kidneys and that branches off of the aorta. And then conversely, the renal vein, uh, which, which is returning blood from the kidneys, will empty into the inferior vena cava. So those vessels are shown sort of in the middle. The other thing we want to mention is the adrenal glands, which we know sit sort of on top of the um, on top of the kidneys on either side. So they have like, it's almost like a little hat for them. All right, and then let's just mention some of the other structures to give us a little context. So we have, I've drawn in the 11th and 12th ribs. Um, you notice that the left kidney sits slightly higher than the right kidney. We also have um, the, the pink line is, uh, is the diaphragm. At the, at the very top and then the, the bottom um, we have our, our iliac crest and so uh, that basically is the marker for the pelvis and so we know that the urinary bladder and the urethra sit in the pelvis and, and sort of um, below the abdomen. 
And then we can just draw in some vertebrae too, just for fun. All right, so now let's draw the kidney um, as if we were to slice it in half. So um, imagine like an anterior posterior slice of the kidney. And uh, I'm going to sort of talk about some of the internal structures. And what's very interesting about the kidney is that the, the actual functional unit is, is microscopic. Um, it's very tiny. So this, um, this is still, we're still working very big, but it's important to have this context. So, um, so this, this slice of the kidney, uh, we're going to just um, sort of actually pretend like we extracted it from the last drawing and we're going to fill in some of the structures and then um, match them up with the structures that we already know, such as the aorta and the, and the um, IBC. Okay, so the kidney is um, sort of divided into sections or almost layers. Um, so the outer layer is called the cortex and the inner layer is called the medulla. And hopefully this makes sense because we know other things like, for example, the adrenal glands, the outer portion is the cortex and the inner portion is the medulla. So it's following a similar pattern to things that we already know. Um, and then, uh, so the orange lines are the cortex and, and then um, the, the pink layer is the medulla. And the medulla is organized into these things called renal pyramids. So the renal pyramids I think of as almost like grapefruit sections, that's what they remind me of. Um, and, and so we're just basically identifying the, uh, a, a little bit more organization than just saying that it's another layer. Now the renal pyramids empty urine um, that's formed into this structure called the renal pelvis. Now there are technically a few intermediary structures that, that allow that to happen, such as the major and minor calyces, but um, really I'm just interested in, in knowing that the urine is made and then it dumps into the renal pelvis, which basically is like this whole catch basin in the middle that ultimately will feed the ureter. So the ureter kind of um, meets at the, at the exit point of the kidney um, and will travel the urine down to the urinary bladder. Now we do have our vasculature as well, um, the renal artery and the renal vein, which we mentioned. And um, I, I do want to sort of add that um, there is a point at which we are inside the kidney and a point at which we are out of the kidney. The point of entry into the kidney is called the hilum. And so the hilum is basically uh, where we see the entry of the renal artery, the exit of the renal vein, and the exit of the ureter. Now the other um, important thing to note about the kidney is that it has uh, um, several layers of connective tissue that surround it. Um, and these layers are essentially concentric, so we'll work our way from the inside out. So the first layer is the renal capsule, and it's just basically made of collagen fibers. And then the green layer, the next layer out, is the adipose capsule, which is made of adipose tissue, um, so it provides some cushioning. And then the outermost layer, the purple layer, is called the renal fascia, and this is made of dense and fibrous connective tissue. So a couple of interesting facts about the kidneys. Um, about 20 to 25% of the blood flow goes to the kidneys, so that means that the kidneys are fed with about 1,200 mLs of blood per minute. The functional unit of the kidney is called the nephron, and there are 1 million nephrons in each kidney. Um, so 2 million nephrons total, which is crazy. Um, it's an unbelievable number. So hopefully that speaks to, you know, the kidney is about the size of your fist. Um, so hopefully that speaks to exactly how tiny these structures are that are that are essentially producing the urine. Now each nephron contains, um, there's sort of two major subdivisions and then um, the, and then some minor subdivisions. So each nephron contains a renal corpuscle and a renal tubule. The renal corpuscle is made of the glomerulus and Bowman's capsule and the renal tubule is made of the proximal convoluted tubule, or PCT for short, the loop of Henle, the distal convoluted tubule, or DCT for short, and the collecting duct. Now I know that this terminology is, um, is new and unfamiliar, and so um, they're, they're, I'm going to explain each component, but in the next video, um, there's going to be, uh, there's, there's going to be a, a, quite a bit to say about each one of those structures. So we'll, we'll get to draw them out very specifically and, and, and give them lots of attention. Now there are two major types of nephrons. The two types of nephrons are the cortical nephrons, which account for about 85% of the nephrons, and then juxtamedullary nephrons, which account for about 15%. 
So, um, so generally speaking, the cortical nephrons sit mostly in the cortex, and um, they just have um, a small part of their loop of Henle that uh, that actually extends down into the medulla. And then the juxtamedullary nephrons sit sort of on the borderline between the cortex and the medulla, and uh, and so they have a very very long loop of Henle in the medulla. Um, so that's another sort of point that I know is going to require more explanation and, 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 um, and attention. But I think that what I would like to do is sort of draw the nephron, explain how the nephron works, and then sort of return and place them in the drawing um, in a way that it will make a little bit more sense. So um, so this that is just a brief introduction to the renal system. And uh, in the next video, we're going to talk uh, about the nephron and the anatomy and the, the basic structures of the nephron very specifically. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.